right now. We have Haley Williams from Paramore Hi. on the phone. How are you? I'm good. How are you doing? I'm doing okay. First off, um, I just want to let you know I'm a little upset because I would have loved to actually have you here in studio, but I'm just I'm pretty excited uh. that I get to talk to you on the phone. <laughs> yeah. I know. I'm sorry that I couldn't come and hang out. I, I know you've been up for a while. So, ne- But next time you're going to come and hang out with us, right? Yeah, of course. All right, sounds we good. love coming over there. And you are getting ready to co-headline one of the tours that I'm really excited for for the summer is the Monument Tour. That's right. That's some fallout, boy. It's like, it's the first co-headline tour we've done in, in a, a while. I'm so pumped about it. Now, how does the co-headlining thing work? Do you just alternate nights? Like, how does that logistically pan out? It really, it's really just sort of a technical term for, or a not very technical term for just sharing responsibility. So, I mean, basically it's like, you know, you see both of our names at the top of the poster versus, you know, like if it was just a Paramore tour, it would be our name at the top and then whoever is opening the show at the bottom or something. So it's really just, to me, this is super cool because both of our bands came from the same world. We grew up sort of in the same scene and our fans, both of our fan bases sort of carried us through, you know, through the glass ceiling, and, and now we're able to do a, a massive summer tour, and it just seemed right to join forces. So that's that's really what it means, is we're just joining forces to create, like, an experience for, for our fans, because we do share a lot of the same fans, and I think that we owe it to them to, you know, give them something back for all the hard work that they've done supporting us. Well, and you mentioned the scene that you guys came up in together. Is it, when you were, you know, going town to town in a van on Warp Tour, did you ever think this would be happening? No, not at all. It's it's so it's so still so unbelievable that we do what we do, um, and and at the scale that we're able to do it now, it's 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 insane. When whenever I hear songs of ours on the radio, like I still don't really believe it. I still get excited and and like film it or tape the you know the radio station you know on my iPhone. Um, and I, I think like. It's just a dream, and and it's crazy because it's it's hard work. But um, but when you get to the end of it, where or whatever point that you're at at the time, you look back on all that hard work, and it's just it's just good memories. And we we've just been so fortunate. And and I look back on like the old days in the van and stuff, and I'm like, man, I'm so glad that we worked that hard because I really I do appreciate everything that we've been able to 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 gain every single supporter or, or, you know, fan of Paramore that we've, that we've gained, it's like, you know, I really appreciate that. Do you ever look back at those days going, you know, city to city in a van? Do you ever think, you know, maybe just for like a month, I'd like to go back and do that again? Yeah, we talk about it all the time. We, we like fantasize about going back and doing like the, the School of Hard Knocks, like touring situation gotcha. where like Taylor... Taylor, we all Taylor was in the band with Jeremy and I when we first started. Like, t- like we've always played together, but Taylor wasn't allowed to go on tour, so he wasn't necessarily in the band until uh, after we recorded Riot. Oh wow! But he missed like he says all the time. Like I miss the I miss the band days. Like I miss the best part, you know. And um and I'm like I don't know if you would have thought it was the best part when you were like <laughs> sleeping on floors and. Not making any money, getting paid in pizza every night. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure, I'm sure when you're in it, it doesn't seem that great. No, but, but like I said, when you look back on it, and I mean, those were some of the best times of my entire life, just making friends all over the country, all over the world, too, because then we started traveling to, like, Europe and England, and um, it's just, it, it is the best. So we do talk about doing it again just for fun, um, and I wonder, I wonder if it'll ever happen. I'm sure it will. Well, you also mentioned, you know, what you kind of freak out when you hear your song on the radio or whatever happens now that you kind of can't believe it, it's going on. Are you the type of person that when you're in, if you're in a car with a couple of people and your song comes on, are you like, shh, 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 my song's on, be quiet? Yeah. No, if I'm around people, I try to play it cool. And I'm like, oh, oh yeah, that's <laughs> cool. And I like laugh about it. But if, it, if I'm by myself, I curse it up really loud and I'm, I drive faster. <laughs> And I'm such a nerd, but, but yeah, I guess I kind of get a little bit embarrassed if I'm around a lot of people or a lot of friends and it comes on in a store. That always happens. Like, it literally always happens now. We go into, like, a coffee shop or a store and Ain't It Fun comes on. It's <laughs> just like, ah. In front of people, it's, it's a little, I get red face. Do you try to do that, like, slow backwards walk out of the out of the place? Like, oh, no, don't look at me. I'm not here. Don't see me. <laughs> 
Yeah, exactly. Exactly. But catch me when I'm by myself, and that's a whole other thing. That's a whole other situation. You know, we need we need a good selfie video of you freaking out to one of your songs on the radio. <laughs> Especially Ain't It Fun. Yeah, I'll try it. I'll try to remember. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so here on Saturday Night Online, we always go to our uh, our fans to give us questions to ask to you guys. So uh, you ready to jump into those? Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right, cool. So first on Twitter, we have at Skinny Jean Girl. Uh, will you be performing any <laughs> songs with Fall Out Boy while you're on tour? Yes, we will. We, we actually, both of our bands have the same amount of, like, we have the same set times, set length. Okay. So, uh, yeah, we're planning on packing a lot into, into our Lot. Can you give us like a little sneak peek as to what you'll be doing or any specific songs that you'll be doing together? Oh, I'm going to keep it a surprise, but we're going to try to span all four albums and, um, you know, and really for the fans who've been around for, you know, as long as we've been around, we're going to try to uh, to make it, you know, make it a good time for them and make it a good time for fans who just caught on and, they're, you know, they're hearing us on the radio and then buying the ticket to come see the show. Okay, I'll make you a deal. If you just tell me specifically what songs you're performing together, I promise I won't tell the millions of people that are listening right now. <laughs> is, that, is that cool? That's clever. That's clever. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right, and uh, Jenny hit us up on Facebook, and she wants to know, what's your favorite song to perform? Is it a new song? Is it an old song? You know, I... It changes all the time for me, um, and I think some of that is just because the songs are really personal, and it's kind of like what you feel in the moment or what song you connect to um, that that night. But um, we just played, uh, we just did like a thing called Terahoy, which was like our first cruise. I hope we do more because it was like so insanely cool. It to, sounded awesome. Like, I wish for, I could have gone. Well, if we do another one, like you should definitely be there. Okay, it's then I'll so be there. much fun. And <laughs> I really enjoyed. Um, there's two songs off of the new album that I that that I really love to play, and one we had already performed before, so I kind of knew that I liked it. That song's called Proof, okay. and it's later on the album. It's just one of my favorites. Um, and then the other one we had never played before, and it's sort of like a um, an ode to 1960s girl groups, slash an ode to um, you know being a girl and having crazy emotions and kind of driving yourself insane and it's called uh, One of Those Crazy Girls. That was so much fun to perform and Taylor has an, an amazing guitar solo that's very like Weezer-esque and it's, I just feel so cool when we play Crazy Girls. You mentioned performing a song for the first time. What is that like? I mean, do you have butterflies when you know you're going to go in front of a crowd and perform a song for the first time live in front of people? Oh my gosh, yeah. We, yeah. uh, I... I get so nervous to play new songs um, because I, I like I get really in the moment when we're on stage and I look out at people and I get distracted by that. So, so like our fan, especially the fans that come out to a lot of shows, there's like this inside joke about how often I might forget lyrics or just trip <laughs> up on words because I'm watching something that's going on. It's not that I'm not professional, but. Um, I do like new songs, songs that we've not played a lot, and they're not like really ingrained into my brain how I'm gonna perform them. Um, I forget words. Like I just, I literally just trip up, so I get so nervous to play <laughs> new ones because like, what if I forget words? That's gonna look so dumb. That's well. Has there ever been a time where you've just completely forgotten like a whole line instead of just one word? Oh yeah, and then you have to like make the quick split second decision of do I make up new words in the moment and chance that being ridiculous or do I just hold the mic out and let someone else sing it or do I just laugh like I mean it oh man being a singer next time I like next time I join a band I'm gonna be the drummer I think you just go the go-to move just stick the mic out into the crowd pretend you want them to sing along yeah yeah, I I generally do that and (laughs) our the people who come to our shows are very generous Cool, and we also, we also got a text from uh, area code 201. Carla hit us up, and she wants to know, out of all you guys on tour, who smells the worst after a couple of days on tour? Jeremy. Really? Does anyone, does anyone yeah, pull him aside and go, listen, man, it's, it's been three days. It's time to hit a shower at some point. <laughs> Jeremy brags about, he had this like long no-shower streak on Tour 2007. I think he, I'm going to get it wrong, but I think he went 27 days without a shower. <laughs> Oh, yeah. That sounds miserable. 
just to be around. He was probably fine. He probably didn't care at all, but, I mean, that was a pretty fun and filthy summer. It was pretty (laughs) filthy. Chris also hit us up on Facebook, and he wants to know, in the last video, you were breaking world records. Are you going to be breaking any more records in the near future? We actually, like, there keep being opportunities for us to come up with new records to break, like, whether it's for different kind of meet-and-greet things or... Like, in certain interviews that we do, people will kind of have ideas and ask us if we're interested. And, of course, we are because we want, like, just go down in history for as many possible things as possible. So um, we've had a really good time with it. I think one of the weirdest ones we did outside of the video was we were in New York. And we were doing, like, having a full-on press day, just, like, zillions of interviews kind of going from place to place. And we got to one where we had to, like, we had to, like, do the interview, but then there were all these balloons being thrown at us, and we had to pop them with pens as we were answering questions, and it was to see who popped the most balloons in the interview. It was so much fun, but it was so ridiculous That's crazy. and actually really difficult. Okay, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to challenge you right now. I'm not sure what the actual okay. record is, but I think we should just, right now, we should start doing the longest interview ever. And we just stay on the phone for like, I don't know, two, three, I don't know how long it takes, but like two, three days. I'm sure you have that kind of time, right? You're not doing anything. It's not like oh, you have yeah, like a I huge tour to plan for. On. No, it's not. It's not a big deal. How about I got this? zero things. We'll, we'll table the challenge <laughs> until the next time you come, and we're going to do the longest interview of all time. Okay. <laughs> all right. All right. Thank you so much for hanging out with us. Really appreciated it, and uh, good luck with the tour. I appreciate it. Thanks so much.